So I'm here with Eric Hassel, who's a Swedish uh, soul, si soul singer songwriter. And uh, are you 25 or 26 years 25. old? 25. 25. Okay, yeah. so you're young. I um, was waiting for the itch. Yeah. Hit, man. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I know you recently were one of the writers on the song um, with Shakira and Rihanna. Can't remember to forget you. And I was yeah. wondering. First of all, I love the song. I've been a big fan of both of them. And I was wondering how you got involved in that and what that process was like for you. Uh, it was... Uh, thank you. Um, it was uh, a, a pretty normal day, actually, yeah. in the studio. We, uh, my my friend Daniel Alexander, who I write a lot of songs with, we uh, we got this beat from from uh, John Hill and Kid R. Pope. Uh -huh. Amazing producers and songwriters, and uh, there was they asked us to to like continue an idea that they, they started, and okay. uh, and we did. And I worked with those guys both my own stuff and like love their music. So yeah, it was we didn't know was, where the song was gonna end up. And I guess when me and Daniel did the lyrics and, and stuff, we I just went in and sang it like. Like, like you know, something that I would stand for myself. And right. I made a lot of songs the last year, and, and it's you know they start uh, floating around in in management and stuff. And then yeah. I heard Shakira wanted to do it, and then six months or something went by and it was quiet. And then they started talking about maybe Rihanna doing a feature on it. But at that time, you so it's so far away until it's definite. You know? Right. So I didn't think much about it until yeah. maybe. Another six months later, when I found out they were recording the video. Okay. Right, so it was pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So has that kind of given you more exposure? And it's been uh, great for me. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. Um, and then your new EP, Somebody's Party, released this year. Yeah. Um, awesome, awesome EP. It's funny because I get Thanks. a lot of emails from people asking me to listen to new things. And I got one from uh, your PR company. I listened to it. It's, it's one of it's one of those EP songs because I I wasn't familiar with you, mm. and immediately like I was hooked in like right from the start. It's just Thanks very so original, very authentic. Thank um, you. Man. Great voice, great sound, and I just like how it's um, it's not like overdone. It's just very kind of minimalist, but mm. still a lot of texture, and and I, I just really enjoyed it. And I'm wondering if that's kind of, if you've gotten that reaction from other people, like where they, they hear you and like they're an instant fan, like they just totally get your sound. Uh, uh, that's amazing. Uh, it, uh, people, but I, I've been really, I've been, I've been, I've been uh, a recording artist, or what you want to say, since I was 18. I'm yeah. I'm 25 now. And uh, I've been ex around extremely good people all the time. Right. That has like taken me from that kid and like always brought me into the studio to get to see how things work and I'm so I'm really proud of all the things I've done before yeah. this too but this because uh, it's kind of a new direction thing, for I mean, you it was, right? it's kind of maybe uh, maybe the, some more more me and what's yeah. in me and, and Daniel that I write with than than uh, like a, a a vision of, of of like by by more people. It's right. It's the first time I try my own. It is the first time I try my own wings, and it's been it's been a completely different writing process. That's been much more uh, much more personal and from the heart, which has been something I I realized a little bit into the process that I was in a kind of self therapeutic way writing own experiences and it took me some time to realize that it was so so like revealing you know yeah uh, so thank you uh, yeah it, so it is it is very honest and then I, I I mean I've also kind of left it from where where I like when I've been writing it in that moment the vocal takes and stuff I haven't touched it more afterwards you know right and uh, yeah and I, I mean I love I'm from Scandinavia so I love minimal stuff yeah like deep house and yeah deep and, you know and like minimalism is beautiful yeah i mean because i'm i'm a lot older than you i'm 41 but 
I just hear like little hints of other artists I really like, mm. but very different ones. Like yeah, but that's like from cool. like Portishead to like Prince, even like yeah, some yeah. of your songs. Well, like, I mean, Portishead. I've never I've, I know who they are, but I've never listened. To yeah. Them. So that's cool. I mean, I I can relate to that myself. Yeah, because it's not like it's influencing you, but there's just sort of bits and pieces of yeah. of sound and just I don't know different vibes and stuff I kind of get from you. Like if you're just a very com- complex artist, I think, even though the Thank sound you. is sort of there's a lot of a lot of music today. There's just so much going on. Mm. Like you, your mind doesn't even know what to grab yeah, onto, yeah, yeah. and you're very like vocal driven, which I think. Yeah. You and know, hearing my, you talk that's my about second universe. Yeah, know. and it sounds like you're very autobiographical. Like your mm. your lyrics uh, yeah. are about real things. Yeah, so. it, it's definitely. I mean, but that's that's like it, it was the first time that that writing became that for me. Something that could like help you, right? You know, and and take you down, take you up again from a really low place, or like make you feel attractive again if you felt that you had been humiliated in some way you know it's right. like all of those things it's been it's been therapeutic for me yeah uh, but well, it's cool when you say that it reminds you of things that i might not even have heard because that's right. something more that's just the, uni- the universe I think. yeah you know, it's sort it's of like, exactly you're like tapping ideas into have an originality you know that comes yeah. from the heart and i think they're just going to keep coming like yeah well the artists that i kind of get some some similar vibes from our all artists I really love. So I mean, it is That's a compliment. Big, thank you so much. <laughs> um, and then you have some guests on your EP. What was it like working with with them? Uh, it was uh, working with Tinashe came quite naturally since we were both in RCA here in America, uh-huh. and uh, I had done this song in since Lost, and my label suggested that she could be really good. For it, and uh, she's lovely, lovely girl, woman, yeah. person, and she came in, and and it was a lot of fun. We did it together, you know. And yeah. Vic Mansa was a little bit of another deal because that was it was also some really good work from my label. Being from Sweden, like going into this world, like mm-hmm. my first like rap feature, I was yeah. like, it was a bit unreal, and he completely killed it, you know. Right. So. Yeah, we've been we've been both like appreciating each other after that, but we didn't know each other when that happened. Oh, that's you know? awesome! But yeah, he's a great guy and so talented too. Yeah, that that song um, that was talk about it, right? Yeah, that's one of the two that kind of reminded me a little bit of Prince. Cool. Like it has this sort of sign of the times, mm. slight vibe to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, just sort of this relaxed but sort of uh, funky, soulful sound to it. Thanks, man. Um, what are what are some of your your bigger influences in music, like growing up, and then like today, like new newer music that you're listening to? Um, I'm just realizing, you know, how uh, affected I am by the music that I grew mm-hmm. up with. That's also interesting. Like when when you like try when you're when you're like for the first time writing with your own musicality and your own like ideas and stuff how much what you grew up with has affected you and for me yeah. it was growing up you know I'm born 88 so like from the millennium and forward it was really right. big for me and I loved Prodigy growing oh, up oh yeah and <laughs> Fat Boy Slim and a lot of like the R&B the R. Kelly pop R&B I mean I grew mm. up with that stuff yeah uh, but also I was I found I was randomly introduced to soul at a really early age to more old older like Motown soul and right. you know even northern soul and like that stuff uh, so I love with some Pickett Van Morrison and Sam and Dave uh, Sly and Family Stone and that stuff too yeah. I really really love but you know it was a lot of rhythms when I grew up yeah, like close to a lot of dance music yeah. that I'm yeah. still like the first time I, I I came into a good like techno club, I was I, and I hadn't really experienced that before when I was uh, younger. I, that was I was like into it right away, and I think right. that has a lot to do with what music was pop. I mean, Smack My Bitch Up was like a huge radio song, yeah, you know? and all the emotions. <laughs> Are many emotions are in the rhythms and the percussion and in the like sounds that you know, mm-hmm. so that's been important for me too. I think. 
Yeah. So you you're kind of doing like a contemporary take on soul. Yeah. Like pop soul. Do you find as a genre, it, it sort of directs the kinds of things you're writing about, or do you think it's pretty open to you know? That the soul directs the things I write about. Yeah, like soul's a genre. Oh uh, yeah. Um, sometimes I mean I was I was. I was so drawn to soul, I think, originally, because there was one side of it that was so much simplicity and one mm -hmm. side of it that had so many layers. And, like, mm -hmm. the layers usually came from, like, the delivery or the passion or the desperation in the person singing. Mm -hmm. And the lyrics could be very simple but mean so much. Right. You know, that was something I always, like, I guess a lot of it's in the, in the delivery, right? Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, yeah. So do you have do you have a preference on writing music versus performing it live? Like you're gonna perform tonight? Like do you enjoy one over the other? Do you no, like I mean, they go so much hand in hand. Yeah, for me, and it's like right now it's a very similar experience. Yeah, but it's I mean it's it's like the 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 studio thing is like you know giving birth to something yeah and the live thing is raising that yeah thing you know yeah and making it like come alive more and more and more yeah you know? and do you when you're performing do you feel connection with the audience yeah yeah of course i mean i i'm i'm it's spiritual to me spiritual to me mm -hmm. you know but it's also uh and a conversation with people who are there right i think i'm, I'm not really I'm me right. on stage, you know. So yeah, I, I you're not a me. different person. No, I, I, I no, I, you know, could be, but now, like, my songs, it is something honest, and I, I, I'm not going to be able to take that back, so yeah. I'm just, like, trying to be myself Yeah. As so, much as possible. So, last question, do you know when your new album's going to come out? You never know, <laughs> because <laughs> things change. Yeah. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, really really excited about getting more songs out the EP yeah it was like so important for me to get out i wasn't gonna right. i was like a quite impulsive and great decision to yeah. do it, but it wasn't it was just i have so many songs and i wanted something out while working on the album right but as it looks right now <clears throat> uh i think the album will drop early 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 next year and okay. then there will be a campaign a single or something right maybe september now this okay. year after the summer Cool. I think. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me tonight. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing you perform thanks, tonight. Man. Thanks so much. It'll be fun. Thank you. Thank you.